is up guys it is the turtle girl welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel today we are going to be redoing my 75 gallon painted turtle tank now I realize that there's quite a few of you who probably actually haven't seen this tank before um, at least recently because I haven't done a video in it on it in a while and so for those of you who don't know this is my 75 gallon tank yes I know it doesn't like look like a standard 75 gallon tank but I promise you it does hold 75 gallons of water it's I think it's like reef tank dimensions or something and this is my eastern painted turtle Nemo he is I think 13 or 14 years now um, I actually adopted him and I've only owned him myself for three and a half years but this is his tank and so we're gonna be changing out his substrate today and just rearranging his decorations that kind of thing um, but I mean we we have quite a bit of work ahead of us, so we should probably get started. I need to get it done today, so let's get on with it. Alright, so the first thing I did when starting this project was actually catching Nemo and taking him out of the tank. You can see him here being super cute, but I just wanted to take him out so he wouldn't bite my fingers while I was like cleaning out the tank or anything. And then I unplugged the filters and the heater and the canister filter, um, and then I just started removing all of the wood out of the tank. Now I did leave the convex cichlids in there because I wasn't planning on actually draining the entire tank, and I just thought they'd be fine, and honestly I just didn't want to try to catch them. So I left the convex in there but then I just removed out all of the wood and rock. Now you can see that as I was removing these rocks I did kick up quite a bit of like the detritus and the mulm and all the stuff that has just been sitting at the bottom of the tank underneath those rocks so I wasn't able to get to them during my like weekly, bi-weekly water changes or whatever. And so I kind of did expect the water to get dirty which wasn't really that big of a deal. Um, and I did try to actually siphon out the substrate, because that's like mainly what I wanted to do was change out the substrate. I did try to siphon it out with a um, with the siphon, but it didn't really work. So I'll show you how I went about that in just a second. But before I actually did do that, I decided to go outside and clean out all of the decorations because we were losing daylight pretty fast because it's still kind of like winter time and so it gets dark at like five. And so I needed the light in order to clean out all of my decorations outside. And then I just took my scrubbing brush and tried to clean out all of the algae that had built up on those rocks since like, I think the year and a half since I first threw them in there. And so I tried to clean all of those off and then we went back inside to clean up the tank. So before I started taking out the sand, I decided that I might as well just clean the algae off the glass and make it look nice and kind of start fresh because I realized I would be changing quite a bit of water if I was going to try to get the sand out. So that's what I decided to do was just scrape all of the algae off of the glass first and then I would get rid of the substrate. So of course that was all the footage I got because the battery died just as I was finishing up scraping the algae and then putting and taking the sand out and then putting the sand back in. And of course me being so engrossed in just changing this stuff out, I forgot to check the camera so I'm very sorry that there's no footage of that. But basically I didn't end up siphoning all of the um, sand out because that was just, it wasn't working. So I just took a bucket, I put it inside the tank, and scooped up as much sand as I could and repeated that until there was as little black sand as possible. And then I added the white sand, which of course I did rinse out. This was pool filter sand, um, it was 50 pounds of it, and so I rinsed that out, and then I was adding it to the aquarium. And then as I was actually refilling the tank back up with water, I realized that my battery died. So <laughs> now let's get into that footage. So yes, the tank does look super cloudy right now, but the first thing I went about doing was putting back all the decorations into the tank. Um, I did rinse out the sand, but there was still debris that was kicked up when I changed out the black substrate, and so that was still in the water because I didn't do like a 100% water change, only like maybe 70% or 60%, and so that's why the water did get really cloudy, but it will clear up in just a second. And yes, I did stand on that bench in order to get into the tank and fix stuff up because it was tall. So then we added Nemo back into the tank, and we just wait for the tank to clear up. All right, guys, so this is what the tank finally looks like four hours after we initially started this process. Um, I honestly, to be completely honest with you guys, I didn't think it was going to take that long. 
um, but I had a much more difficult time than I anticipated actually getting the black sand out of the tank. And so you can see, I actually didn't end up taking all of the black sand out. There's still a little bit there underneath um, the pool filter sand, but honestly, I could care less. I think it looks great. Like this pool filter sand, Oh my gosh, it looks amazing and it's reflecting like the light back up just like I hope so that the tank would look a bit more light lit up. Yep, because we want it to be lit. Anyway, um, and like he stands out so much more. I'm hoping that the convicts make it. I think they were kind of shocked because the water in here was quite cold. Like I did have the heater running for a bit before I added the convicts back in. But yeah, they don't look too happy. You can see this guy back here um, is kind of kind of not happy so i don't know how the fish will respond to this i know that nemo will most likely be fine because he can withstand cooler temperatures um so we'll i'll continue to keep you guys updated on how the fish do but this guy seems to be liking it and i like how it looks so much better now i'm praying that too much algae doesn't come back on these stuff because i actually scrubbed all of my rocks and stuff so we'll see how this turns out um i hope it will get uncloudy within the next few hours that I can show you guys what it actually ends up looking like and maybe redo the scape a bit because it's really hard to do stuff when the stuff is cloudy when the tank is cloudy so yeah I will keep you guys updated all right so it has been about two hours since I last checked in with you guys maybe even three honestly I can't even keep track of time anymore but the tank has cleared up quite a bit since then, and you can actually get a pretty good look of how it looks. And guys, I am so happy with how this turned out and how the sand turned out. Like this pool filter sand, I really didn't expect it to look like this nice because I've used play sand before and that's what's in Hoku's tank and I honestly don't like that that much. But this pool filter sand is beautiful. Like it is totally worth it to get pool filter sand and so i am ah i'm so excited i love how this turned out the scape isn't terrible i mean granted i did do it while the tank was half foggy so i couldn't even really see what was going on but i might be moving some stuff around in here um and maybe make it look a little bit different but i mean the scape didn't even turn out that bad either and so i am very 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 excited um i'm thinking that once I make sure that everything goes smoothly with the cycle and everything because I did change a large amount of water and so my ammonia levels, my nitrate, my nitrite levels might be a little bit off and so I will be watching this tank like a hawk for sure to make sure there's no fluctuations or anything that could potentially be harmful to the fish or to the turtles. I did see a couple of the convicts swimming around though so I think they will be able to bounce back but I will be keeping a close eye on them for the next couple of weeks just to make sure that this tank gets running smoothly again because I did change a lot of the stuff and removed a lot of the water and the old substrate. Um, I didn't actually clean out the filter though, so we'll see how it goes. Anyway, Nemo seems to be enjoying this a lot. I am enjoying this a lot. And I hope you guys enjoyed this a lot as well. I am also planning to redo Hoku's tank soon. And so that will actually be more of a step-by-step -step how to set up a turtle tank video if that's what you were looking for. Um, and that will be over probably the next couple of weeks. But this is the tank. I hope you guys like it as much as I do. If you do, feel free to drop a thumbs up down below, comment, whatever. You guys know how this works. Um, and I will see you guys next Friday. Have a totally awesome day. Bye-bye.